Well, you are so proficient at this, then why don't you give the lecture? Come on, tell me about it. All right, I'll give it a go. Okay. If the universe has no edge, then it cannot have a center. That's a good start. Keep going. Come on. The darkness of the night sky leads to the conclusion that the universe is not infinitely old. So in other words, it's limited by time is what you're saying. Okay, well done. Keep going. If the universe were infinite in extent and infinite in age and static, then every spot on the sky would be as bright as the surface of a star. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for you. This problem, commonly known as Old Bear's Paradox, Old Bear's, oh, good old Old Bear, I missed that jump, implies that the universe had a beginning. All right, well, so far you're doing okay. The observable universe, the part seen from Earth with a large telescope, is limited in size. It may only be a tiny portion of the entire universe, which could be infinite. The universe had a beginning, but it's also infinite. Interesting. Go on. Even Hubble's 1929 discovery that the redshift of a galaxy is proportional to its distance, now known as the Hubble Law. Oh, yes, the good old Hubble Law. Come on, hurry up, I don't have all the evening. I have to go catch the worm, you know. All right, well, the Hubble law shows that the galaxies appear to be moving away from each other. This phenomenon is called the expanding universe. I'm very happy for you. According to the Hubble law, the apparent velocity of the recession of a galaxy equals its distance times the Hubble constant. Astronomers can estimate the distance to a galaxy by observing its redshift, calculating its apparent velocity of recession, and then dividing by the Hubble constant. Do you even know what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, well, that's a relief. When astronomers look at a distant galaxy, they see it as it was when it emitted the light now reaching Earth. Yes, they're looking back in four dimensions. And of course, when they look back to distant galaxies, it can be a significant fraction of the age of the universe. Working the expansion of the universe backward in time leads to give an initial high density, high temperature state commonly called as the Big Bang. Hey, hey, the Big Bang. Rough estimate of the age of the universe based on the current observed expansion rate. Mm -hmm. Yes is called the Hubble time. Keep going. Well, let me keep going. Oh, I am letting you. It's humans. Although the expanding universe began from the Big Bang. Hey, hey, the Big Bang. Can you stop that? <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. It has no center. The galaxies do not move away from a single point. Cosmologists understand that galaxies remain approximately in their respective positions and are carried farther away from each other as the space between them expands. The cosmic microwave background radiation is black body radiation with a temperature of about 2.73 Kelvin, which is almost absolute zero, spread nearly uniform over the entire sky. The radiation is the light from the Big Bang, mm -hmm. from the gas at the time of recombination and now shifted by a factor of 1100. You have no idea what you're saying, do you? Uh, not really, though. No. The background radiation is clear evidence that the universe began in a Big Bang. Mm -hmm. You so want to say it, don't you? Hey, hey, hey! You can't help yourself. Well, none of us are perfect, are we?